Hello, so this is my water heater. It's a Ream heat pump water heater. It is 80 gallon tank and it has Wi-Fi. You can use the Ream application to access um, the settings on this. You can put it in vacation mode. You can ch change the temperature. But of course, I use Home Assistant for everything. And I want to have this be controlled by Home Assistant. Well, the, the nice thing about these heat water heaters is that they have a little serial port right here. And so what you can do is uh, connect a small module like this Atom processor uh, with a serial port uh, extension right there. And you can connect it using an old telephone cable onto the plug that looks like a telephone plug, but it's a serial uh, interface. Uh, but you use this old plug. I have a USB-C cable right here that connects, uh, that just provides power to the little computer. And this will talk Wi-Fi to my network and it will talk to Home Assistant and give data about this water heater at a very fast rate. So I have my Atom processor here with the RS485 little boot. I have the phone cord installed and what I need to do now is flash it. Now in the previous video, I flashed this device or loaded the software on this device using Home Assistant with ESP Home. This time I'm going to use a special web page that the developer of these um, of the software has made available that should make it even easier. So we're going to take a look at that. So first of all, let's take a look at the web page. It is esphome-econet.com github.io slash install and so there is this web page so there's two steps here one is going to be to flash the device using one of these four settings so it's going to basically custom it's basically just four um, roms or four programs already pre um, built for you and so all we need to do is select which one we want and then once we load it up i imagine we are going to set up wi-fi using bluetooth with this second step so i have a heat pump water heater so i'm going to click on that and the first thing i'm going to do is before i click connect i am going to connect it using uh, usb-c here there we go and so once it's connected this device should show up as a serial port. So you can go to the device manager and let's see if we see it. M5 stack, there it is. So at this point, the COM port has not been loaded yet. Okay, so it's actually working now. I actually rebooted my computer and just waited a long time. But eventually, what you can see right here is that I have the other device dis disappeared and now I have serial COM port 4 for my little Atom device. It is finally showed up. It took a lot of patience before it did show up, but it, it finally did. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I can go back to Chrome. So Google Chrome. And I am going to go to uh, esphome.econet github io install boom select heat pump water heater click connect and hopefully i get com port 4 connect and there it goes aha install esp no home econet install to home assistant change wi-fi um so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is say install ESP, no, ESP Home Econet. So I'm going to click that, say install. And now I think what's going to happen is that it's going to install the software on the Atom device. So I guess first it needs to erase the previous one. And there we go. It's loading. And it's pretty funny that serial port has not gotten any faster. It's still, uh, you know, the, the same baud rates that are historically supported. I do wonder if one day they'll have like a megabit per second serial port or something. But in any case, there it goes, installation complete. Now I'm gonna hit next 
And then I have logger console and it's install ESP home. Of course, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to close. Now, what is going on here is that I can click on connect device to Wi-Fi and it's going to use my Bluetooth inside this computer to scan and find the Atom device. Now, so far, I've not been successful in ever finding it. I don't know why, um, but it's not working for me. But I can cancel this and I'll hit connect again. Select comfort port once more. And uh, here it says these two options. But if I try a few times, if I hit connect a few times, nope, still nothing. Sometimes it will offer me, there it goes, it will offer me to connect to Wi-Fi over the serial port. So basically sending information about Wi-Fi information over the serial port. So I'm going to click connect to Wi-Fi right here and it scans. So the Wi-Fi that's part of the Atom device already scanned the network, found you know the network I'm going to want to use and then I just have to select the SSID it found and type the password and say connect. Boom. Now at this point here, it says add to home assistant. You can do that, but in my case, I'm going to skip it. If you click home assistant here, it will bring you to your home assistant page and it will, um, you know, ask you to uh, install eco, eco, um, ESP home and da 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 da. But I'm going to skip it and close this. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I already have ESP Home installed on my Home Assistant. So this is Home Assistant right here. I can click on ESP Home and you can see, boom, the, wa the water heater is online at this point. Um, but if, if I didn't already have it here, I could go down and uh, basically what happens is that it would be auto discovered. So you would get a notification, you click OK, add the device and, and it would work. Now, of course, you need ESP Home installed on your home assistant. To do that, you know, you can follow the steps or you can uh, go to add add-ins and then you click uh, add on store here and you install ESP Home. Um, and that's it. So once you have your water heater installed and working, it's going to say online and that's wonderful. And then you can take a look at, at it on your dashboard. So I have it in the garage uh, right here. Now it says unavailable because obviously I don't have it plugged in right now to my uh, water heater. It's right now on my desk. Okay, so I'm back after I reflash my device and I just reconnected it to my water heater. So now we're going to go and take a look again to see what results we have now that this is connected and actually getting real data from the water heater. So I just went back to the water heater and connected the Atom processor on it. And now I can see what's going on on Home Assistant. So first of all, I see that it's online right here. And now I can go into my main, main dashboard. And yes, it is currently working. You can see the current temperature, target temperature, and everything here. Device information. I can see, oh, active alerts. I don't know what that is. One minute ago, uh, probably just connected. The compressor is currently running, which it is. It's running low speed on the fan. And you have all this information and data right here, including all the temperatures and so on. So this is really, really nice. And as I also wanted to show, it's um, I have statistics that I keep seven day statistics on a power and like solar power temperatures in the house, humidity, water pressure, uh, water usage and device power. But I and also internet traffic right here. But the interesting one is um, the water heater with all the temperature sensors. So that's the seven days. And you can really see when a lot of water is being used, uh, hot water is being used. Um, so, yeah, really, really nice. In general, I do want to say I absolutely adore this little device. Uh, I 
almost don't use the Ream application that comes with this water heater anymore. I have an experience through Home Assistant that is, you know, absolutely fantastic. The speed is great. I used to have to go through the original application, change it to vacation mode, and I would not get confirmation that it actually changed for a few minutes. Like it was very, very slow. With Home Assistant, you know, as soon as I change a setting on this, immediately I get an answer back, you know, a confirmation on the screen that it's been changed. It is absolutely incredible. So, of course, if you're going to go through the trouble of installing this, installing that little computer on the side is wonderful. I put a little bit of Velcro here and just uh, put it nice and neat so that it, it looks good and um, it doesn't, you know, there's no chance that water or anything will get onto this little computer. Having it right next to the screen is also nice, just um, so I can show it off to people, whatever. But any case, just absolutely wonderful little unit and application on GitHub. Love it.